Hello, I'm Pablo Ortiz Monasterio. I am the founder of ASU Driver Training, a company that has been dedicated to creating the security driver's mindset for 20 years. Uh, we started out in Mexico where most of these things happen all the time and we have had to create some good analysis of how things work and how the security things that you learn from whatever actually what's the structure where do they come from because only knowing that you're supposed to do something because somebody told you and because in in security terms is the right thing to do like in this case parking backwards so that you're facing forward when you're when you're exiting has to do with a very good point but if it's not well understood you're still in a lot of danger. This video that I'm going to show you is part of all of the analysis that we're going to do to create. Uh, we're going to create a series here about this, uh, about these types of situations, trying to create that mindset, trying to analyze, break down all the security tips and pointers that you have seen or heard throughout your, your life or your career. And we're going to try to break it down to try to analyze why does that exist? Why do we do that? So let's look at the video and then come back and try to talk a little bit about how it works. This, this is a security driver dropping off his, his principal. Uh, she just walked into the shop and now he's stuck with a car. What does he do? What, is, what does he need to do? He's learned, somebody's told him that the best way to do it or what he needs to do is park the vehicle backwards so he's facing forward when his principal comes out. But look at that, this is a threat. And look at how much time that threat has. The problem here is he's not paying attention. He's too much, he's too concentrated into backing up that vehicle into that space. And he's not paying attention, it's almost eight seconds. And now that person's gonna start coming right to him. And it took 10 seconds for him to actually get there and point a gun at him. At this moment, he tries to react. The person in the back is trying to exit the vehicle. It's too late. Whatever you do here, the possibility of you getting shot is very high. You've lost all the time in the world, 10 seconds. That would have been enough to put 500 feet at 40 miles an hour between you and the attacker. He was not looking for that. He learned that he needed to park in reverse. And that is something that everybody tells you when you're in security, you park in reverse so that you can, you're facing forward when you're trying to get out. Let's get one thing very, very clear. The most dangerous part to be in the world, statistically speaking, is a non-moving vehicle. 88% of attacks happen in or around the vehicle. And the problem is they told you that you need to park backwards so that you can, you can exit that parking space as fast as possible when you get back in the vehicle. But the problem is a lot of people don't understand why we park backwards. It is a great measure that you need to take into account. Parking backwards will uh, provide a certain level of security, but you have to understand situational awareness is not happening here. He is not paying attention to everything else because he has not practiced backing into that, uh, into that spot. He has not practiced his reverse. He has not, he's probably never gone to a, to a driver's training and he is doing it just because they told him it was the right thing to do. So, when we arrive at a place, we, our situational awareness is at, our ba er, at its best because we are able to see when we're getting to that spot, we have the best observation point possible. That's why you park in reverse because when you're coming out, you don't have that observation capabilities and then you have to be facing forward so that you can get in the car and get it moving as fast as possible. In this case, when you get there, you need to observe your surroundings, get your bearings, know what the threats are, and then you park in reverse. You get yourself a little bit more time because you have a little bit of a better position of observing your surroundings. In this case, with this particular uh, driver, he did, he took his time backing onto the, into the, into the spot, but he was not looking at his surroundings. He never saw the threat or the attack coming. If you're not good driving in reverse, if, you, if your whole cognitive ability or capability has got to be focused or it's, it's got to be in reversing that car, just park forward, get it done as fast as possible, get out of the car, put distance between you and the vehicle, and you, that will be a lot safer than trying to back up and 
getting to a, getting to a situation like this by not watching what your surroundings are. So remember, the only reason why we park backwards in reverse is because that when you arrive at a place, that's the place, that's the moment where your observation capabilities are at its best or at their best. You're able to see what's around you and you're able to make a decision whether you have the time or not to take your time part. Join us at some of the training. This will make a lot more sense once you do it and you, you, uh, you repeat it a couple of times. Like Lieutenant Colonel Dave Grossman says, if you're expecting uh, the, the, the combat ferry to come down from the sky and hit you in the head with this combat one and make you combat ready without having ever practicing the situations, you're wrong. It's not going to happen. So you need to train. You need to train hard and you need to make this a, a, a hard skill so that you can do it fast, get it into place, get out of the vehicle and put distance between you and the vehicle. That way you'll be a lot safer. Like us, share us, send us your comments. If you have anything to say, you have, uh, if you have a question, if you, have, if, if you don't like what we said, anything is good, put it in the comments down below and uh, we'll be sure to answer. And uh, stay tuned for more.